My beloved child, you stand on the edge of a moment that is not like any other. The air around you carries a stillness, a quiet whisper that echoes deep within your soul. In your heart, you feel the weight of what is to come. I see your thoughts racing, trying to make sense of the journey you've walked so far. You face trials, burdens, and times of deep sorrow, yet here you are, standing strong in faith, reaching out for answers that your heart yearns to grasp. The days behind you were full of trials, moments where it felt like the world was closing in on you, pressing in with heavy doubts and fears. But my child, do you not see? Each challenge was shaping you, forming your spirit like clay in the hands of a potter. Every tear you shed watered the seeds of growth deep within you, allowing you to rise above the circumstances. What you see is your hardships, I have seen as your preparation. I have watched over every moment of your life, and I know the struggles you face. There were nights you laid awake, questioning the purpose of your suffering, wondering when peace would finally come. You've held on to hope, even when it seemed impossible to carry on. And I tell you now, your perseverance has not gone unnoticed. Look to the horizon, or the time that is coming will bring a clarity like none before. You will soon understand the reasons for the paths I have set you on. There is more for you to see, more for you to realize about the vastness of my plan. But before you step forward into that next season, there is something you must understand, something vital for your heart to hold. You have come to a moment of reflection, a time where everything you have known is leading to something much greater. This is not the end, but rather, a point of transformation. I see you grappling with thoughts of the finality of things, of goodbyes that feel too hard to bear. But know this, my beloved, in me, there are no true goodbyes. What the world calls an ending is but a doorway to something far more profound. The love you have carried for others, the kindness you have shown, and the sacrifices you've made. They are eternal. None of it is lost. Every act of grace, every word of encouragement you've given has been like ripples in a vast ocean, continuing on far beyond what you can see. You have touched lives, changed hearts, and brought my light into the darkest of places. This light, this love, will never fade. As you prepare for what lies ahead, release the fear of the unknown. Let go of the chains of uncertainty that try to bind your heart. You are not walking this path alone, for I am with you every step of the way. Even when the way seems unclear, even when shadows loom ahead, know that my hand is upon you, guiding, protecting, and leading you into a future that holds promise beyond your understanding. You are not defined by your past, nor by the mistakes or shortcomings you feel weighed down by. The world may have tried to tell you that you were not enough, that you were unworthy, but I have called you by name, and you are mine. You are chosen, set apart for a purpose that goes beyond this fleeting world. Do not dwell on the times you feel you have failed. Instead, focus on the ways you have grown, on the strength that has been birthed within you through every trial you have faced. There is a beauty in your resilience, in the way you have kept walking, even when the road was steep and unforgiving. You may not see it yet, but I'm weaving together a masterpiece from the threads of your life, a tapestry so intricate and filled with beauty that one day you will stand in awe of it. As you move toward this significant moment, understand that everything you have been through has been preparing you for this. Your journey has not been without purpose. I have been refining you, shaping your heart, and drawing you closer to me in ways you might not yet fully realize. The moments that seemed unbearable were the very moments I was closest to you, carrying you when you thought you couldn't take another step. Now, as you approach the threshold of a new chapter, do not fear. What is ahead is not to be dreaded, but embraced with open arms. There is a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace I am pouring into your heart right now. 
Let that peace wash over you, filling every corner of your being with the assurance that you are exactly where you need to be. You may wonder about the timing of all of this. Why now? Why here? But trust me, my child. I have orchestrated everything perfectly. There is not a moment in your life that has been overlooked or forgotten. Every detail has been seen, every prayer heard. The day that is coming is not a day of loss, but a day of fulfillment. You will see things fall into place in ways you never expected, and the pieces of your life that once seemed scattered will come together in perfect harmony. Hold fast to the truth that you are deeply loved. Nothing can separate you from that love, not doubt, not fear, not the mistakes of yesterday. My love for you is steadfast, unchanging, and stronger than anything this world could ever throw at you. Lean into that love now. Let it sustain you as you take these next steps. There is a sense of urgency, I know. You feel the weight of time pressing in on you. And yet, I want you to know that you are not racing against the clock. What matters is not how quickly you reach the end, but how you walk each step of the journey with me. This moment is not about rushing or scrambling to make things right. It's about trusting, resting, and allowing my grace to lead you forward. You are so precious to me, my child. You have been chosen for this time, for this moment in history. The impact of your life is far greater than you can comprehend. You may feel small, insignificant even in the grand scheme of things, but I tell you, your influence is profound. Every act of love, every choice to trust in me, has a ripple effect that reaches far beyond what you can see. So do not fear the day that is approaching. It is not a day of sorrow, but a day of joy. It is a time when the things you've held on to so tightly will be released into my hands, and in that release, you will find freedom. Freedom from the burdens you've carried, freedom from the expectations that have weighed you down. You will step into a new realm of understanding, a new level of peace that will envelop you like a gentle breeze. Continue to trust. Continue to walk in faith. Know that the day ahead is not the end, but the beginning of something new, something beyond what you could have imagined. I have so much in store for you, my beloved, so much that is yet to be revealed. Keep your heart open, your eyes fixed on me, and you will see the beauty of the journey unfold. You may wonder what lies beyond the horizon, what awaits you as you step into the unknown. But my beloved, do not let that uncertainty create fear in your heart. The path ahead, though it may seem mysterious, is guided by my hand. I have already gone before you, preparing the way for your arrival. You are not walking into darkness, you are walking into light. Each step you take brings you closer to the fullness of my purpose for your life. I know the questions that linger in your mind. You ask, why now? Why this moment? It is natural to feel unsettled when the familiar is slipping away, when the things you have known and held on to begin to change. But understand this, my child. Change is not to be feared, but embraced. It is in change that you will grow, that you will step into new dimensions of my grace. The discomfort you feel is not meant to break you, but to stretch you, to expand your heart, to receive even more of what I have for you. You have been caring so much, haven't you? The weight of responsibilities, the expectations of others, the pressures of this world, they have all been heavy on your shoulders. But my beloved, you were never meant to carry these burdens alone. I have always been here, waiting for you to cast your cares upon me, to release the heavy load that has been weighing you down. In this moment, as you prepare for what is to come, let go of the things that are not yours to bear. Surrender them to me, and feel the lightness that comes when you rest in my strength. You have asked yourself whether you are ready for this, whether you are prepared for the next chapter. I see the doubt in your heart, the uncertainty that clouds your vision. But listen closely, my child. You are ready. 
you have been ready all along. Everything you have experienced, every trial you have endured, has been equipping you for this exact moment. The lessons you have learned, the wisdom you have gained, have not been in vain. You are stronger than you realize, and you are more prepared than you can comprehend. There is no need to strive, no need to struggle to prove yourself worthy. In my eyes, you are already worthy. You have always been enough. You were chosen long before you ever knew it, set apart for a purpose that transcends the temporary concerns of this world. Stop doubting your place in my plan. You are exactly where you are meant to be, and everything you need to fulfill your destiny is already within you. Do you remember the times when you thought you couldn't make it through, when you felt like giving up? Those moments were not failures, they were the fires that refined you. In your weakest moments, you discovered a strength you never knew you had, a strength that came from me. Now, that same strength will carry you forward. You have been refined by fire, and you are emerging on the other side. Not burned, but shining brighter than ever before. I see the relationships in your life, the connections that have shaped you, both for good and for ill. Some have brought you joy and comfort, while others have left scars on your heart. I know the pain you carry from those who have hurt you, betrayed you, or abandoned you. But my child, I want you to release that pain. Forgiveness is not a sign of weakness, but of incredible strength. When you forgive, you free yourself from the chains that bind you to the past. You are not defined by what others have done to you. You are defined by my love, which is greater than any hurt or offense you have endured. There are people in your life who need to hear your words of love and forgiveness. They may not ask for it. They may not even deserve it. But it is in offering forgiveness that you will find peace. Let go of the bitterness that has tried to take root in your heart. It has no place in the life I have called you to live. Release it now and watch as your heart becomes light again, free to receive the joy that I have for you. There is a time for holding on and a time for letting go. As you prepare for the days ahead, you will need to discern which things you must release and which things you must cling to. Some of the things you have held on to are no longer serving you, and it is time to release them into my hands. Let go of the habits, the patterns, the ways of thinking that are keeping you from experiencing the fullness of my blessings. You do not need to carry the weight of yesterday's mistakes into tomorrow's promise. As you stand at this threshold, know that I am giving you new eyes to see and a new heart to feel. I am opening your spiritual eyes to see beyond the surface of things, to see with clarity and understanding. What once seemed confusing will begin to make sense. The fog that has clouded your vision will lift, and you will see with fresh perspective the beauty of the journey you have walked and the glory of the path that lies ahead. Your heart is also being renewed. I am softening the places that have become hardened by pain, disappointment, and fear. I am making your heart tender once again, open to the love I am pouring into you and through you. It is time to release the guardedness that has kept you from fully embracing the life I have for you. You do not need to protect yourself, for I am your shield, your fortress, and your refuge. As you move forward, let your heart be filled with compassion for those around you. There are so many who are hurting, who are lost, and who are in need of the love and hope that only I can provide. You are my vessel, chosen to carry my love into the world. Do not underestimate the power of a kind word, a gentle touch, or a simple act of kindness. These small gestures can have an eternal impact, changing the course of someone's life in ways you may never fully understand. I am calling you to be a light in the darkness, to be a beacon of hope for those who are struggling. You may not always feel equipped for this task, but I will give you everything you need. You do not need to have all the answers, for I will speak through you. You do not need to rely on your own strength, for my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Trust me, my child, 
and watch as I work through you in ways that will astonish even you. As the day approaches, do not be anxious. Do not let your heart be troubled. I am with you, now and always. You are never alone, and you will never face anything without my presence by your side. There is nothing that can separate you from my love, nothing in this world or the next. Hold on to that truth and let it be the foundation upon which you stand as you move into this new season. The world around you may change, circumstances may shift, but my love for you remains constant. It is the one thing that will never change, the one thing you can always rely on. In times of uncertainty, when everything feels unstable, anchor yourself in my love. It is a love that is unshakable, unmovable and everlasting. As you continue on this journey, remember that I am always speaking to you. I am whispering to your heart, guiding your steps and leading you in the way you should go. Take time to listen, to quiet the noise of the world and hear my voice. It is in the stillness that you will find my presence and in my presence, you will find the peace that surpasses all understanding. My beloved, the days ahead hold so much promise. Do not let fear or doubt rob you of the joy that is waiting for you. You are stepping into a new chapter, one that is filled with hope, with possibility, and with my divine purpose for your life. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and you will see wonders unfold that you never thought possible. You have come so far, and now, as you stand at the threshold of this new journey, I want you to reflect on the strength that has carried you to this point. There were moments you didn't know if you could go on, times when the weight of life felt overwhelming, but through it all, you endured. You didn't give up, and that endurance was not by accident. It was a strength I placed deep within you, a strength that was forged in the fires of adversity and refined by the winds of change. This strength is not just for the challenges you have already faced. It is also for the road that lies ahead. You see, my beloved, your journey is far from over. In fact, what lies ahead is greater than anything you have yet experienced. There is more for you to do, more lives for you to touch, more love for you to share. The gifts I have placed within you are about to be fully revealed and the world will see the brilliance of what I have been cultivating in you all this time. But before you move forward, there are some things you must leave behind. Not every burden you carry is meant to accompany you into this next season. Some things must be let go so that you can be free to embrace the fullness of what is to come. The weight of the past, the fears of the future, the worries that have tried to steal your peace, these things must be released into my hands. Trust me with them, for I am more than capable of carrying them for you. I have always been your sustainer, the one who upholds you when you feel like you're about to fall. Let go of the need to control every outcome, to know every step before you take it. Faith is not about certainty, it's about trust. And trust is built not in the absence of questions, but in the presence of love. My love for you is so vast, so encompassing, that it leaves no room for fear. Perfect love drives out all fear, and in my presence, you are surrounded by that perfect love. I know it can be hard to trust when the future is uncertain, when the road ahead is not clearly visible. But my child, you were never meant to walk this path with perfect clarity. If you could see every detail, every twist and turn, where would the need for faith be? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And I am asking you to walk by faith, not by sight. Trust that as you take each step, I will provide the light you need for the next one. Do you remember the times in your life when you felt lost, unsure of where to turn? Yet somehow, the way was made clear. Somehow doors opened that you didn't expect and paths appeared where there seemed to be none. That was me, guiding you even when you couldn't see it. And I will do it again. I will continue to lead you, to open doors that no one can shut, and to make a way where there seems to be no way. In this season, 
I am calling you to new levels of trust, new levels of surrender. This is not a surrender of defeat, but a surrender of victory. When you release control to me, you are not losing anything, you are gaining everything. You are stepping into the fullness of my plans for you. Plans that are far beyond anything you could imagine. My thoughts toward you are higher than your thoughts, and my ways are higher than your ways. Trust that I know what I am doing, even when you don't understand. There is a divine timing to everything, and your life is unfolding according to that perfect timing. You may feel like you are running out of time, that there are things you haven't accomplished, dreams you haven't seen fulfilled. But know this, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. There is no rush, no need to hurry. What I have promised you will come to pass, but it will come in my time, not yours. Patience is not about waiting without action. It's about trusting that everything will happen at the right moment. In the waiting, there is growth. In the pauses between the action, there is preparation. Do not despise the seasons of waiting, for they are just as important as the seasons of fulfillment. It is in the waiting that your faith is strengthened, that your character is formed, that your heart is refined. And when the time comes, you will be ready, ready to step into the promises I have for you with confidence and grace. As you look ahead, do not allow fear of the unknown to cloud your vision. Fear is a liar, and it has no place in the heart of one who walks in my love. You have been given a spirit of power, of love and of a sound mind. Fear may try to whisper in your ear, telling you that you are not enough, that you are not capable of handling what's coming. But my child, those are lies. You are more than enough because I am with you. You are more than capable because my strength is made perfect in your weakness. The world may try to tell you otherwise. It may try to convince you that you are defined by your past by your mistakes, by the things you haven't yet achieved. But listen to me. You are defined by my love and nothing can change that. Not your past, not your failures, not your shortcomings. You are mine and that is the only identity that matters. You are a beloved child of the Most High God and nothing in this world can separate you from my love. As you move forward, let that truth be the anchor for your soul. When the winds of doubt blow, when the storms of life rage, hold on to the truth of who you are in me. You are not defined by what you do, but by who you are in me. Your worth is not determined by your achievements, but by my love for you. And that love is unchanging, unwavering, and eternal. You may feel unqualified for the things I am calling you to do, but remember this, I do not call the qualified, I qualify the called. It is not about your ability, it is about your availability. Are you willing to step out in faith, to trust that I will equip you for every good work? Are you willing to say yes, even when you don't feel ready? If you are willing, I will provide everything you need. I will open the doors, I will provide the resources, I will give you the wisdom and the strength. There is no task too great for you when you walk in my will. What seems impossible to you is possible with me. Do not limit yourself by what you think you can or cannot do. Do not let your doubts hold you back from stepping into the fullness of your calling. I am with you and with me all things are possible. All things. There is no mountain too high, no valley too deep, no obstacle too large that I cannot overcome. My beloved, the time has come for you to rise up in boldness and in confidence. You are no longer a slave to fear, no longer held captive by doubt. You are free, free to walk in the fullness of your identity in me, free to pursue the dreams I have placed in your heart, free to step into the destiny I have prepared for you. Do not let anything hold you back. The chains have been broken, the prison doors have been opened, and you are free to walk in the light of my love. There will be challenges ahead, yes. There will be moments when you are tempted to turn back, to retreat to the safety of what is known. 
But remember this. I am your strength. When you are weak, I am strong. When you feel like you cannot go on, I will carry you. You are not walking this path alone. I am with you every step of the way, and I have given you everything you need to succeed. The world may try to tell you that you are not enough, that you don't have what it takes. But I am telling you that you are more than enough, because I am more than enough, and I am with you, now and always. You are never alone, and you never will be. You may feel small in the face of the world's vastness, as though the tasks ahead are far too great for you to bear alone. But I need you to understand something. My beloved child, nothing you are called to do in my name is ever done alone. You see, I am always with you, always beside you, always guiding you. When you feel as though you cannot bear the weight of the journey, remember that my arms are beneath you, lifting you, carrying you through the moments when your own strength falters. There will be days when the road ahead seems obscured, when the fog of uncertainty clouds your vision, making each step feel more difficult than the last. In those times, I want you to remember this. Even when you cannot see the way forward, I can. I am the light to your path, the guide to your steps, and I will never allow you to walk blindly without my hand leading the way. Trust in my vision when yours grows dim. Trust in my wisdom when the questions of life grow too heavy for you to carry. You have often wondered if the dreams I have placed in your heart will ever come to pass. You've asked yourself, how long must I wait? Will I ever see the fulfillment of the promises spoken over me? My child, the timing of my plans is perfect. While it may seem to you that time is slipping away, know this. Every delay, every season of waiting is part of my greater design. In the waiting, you are being prepared. Your heart is being refined and your spirit is being strengthened. There are things being aligned in the spiritual realm that you cannot yet see. But I assure you, my timing is never late. There is no dream too great, no promise too large for the one who places their trust in me. You must believe with all your heart that I'm capable of accomplishing far more than you can imagine. When the time is right, those dreams will blossom. What once seemed dormant will spring to life, flourishing in ways that will astound you. But you must continue to trust the process. You must continue to walk in faith, even when it seems that nothing is happening. For I'm always working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail for your good. I know you have moments of doubt. There are times when the enemy tries to plant seeds of fear in your mind, whispering that you are not enough, that you have missed your opportunity, that you are too late. But I want to silence those lies right now. You are never too late when you are walking in my plan. You are not forgotten, nor are you overlooked. I see you. I see every tear, every prayer, every desire of your heart. I have heard your cries, and I am working all things together for your good. Keep your heart steadfast in this truth. I have not forgotten you, and I never will. As you press on, there will be moments when the people around you do not understand the path you are walking. They may question your choices, doubt your calling, or even try to dissuade you from pursuing the purpose I have placed within you. But I want you to remember this. Your calling is between you and me. Others may not see what I have placed within your heart, and that is okay. You are not living for the approval of man, but for the fulfillment of my will. Stay true to the path I have set before you, and do not allow the voices of others to drown out my voice within you. There is strength in obedience, even when the way is unclear. When you choose to follow me, even when the outcome is uncertain, you are demonstrating a faith that moves mountains. Every step of obedience, no matter how small, is a step toward the fulfillment of your destiny. Do not despise the small beginnings, for they are the foundation upon which great things are built. In every act of faith, you are planting seeds that will one day bear fruit, not just in your own life, but in the lives of those you touch. 
there is a ripple effect to everything you do in my name. You may not see the full impact of your actions in this lifetime, but I assure you, the seeds you sow in faith will grow into a harvest that reaches far beyond what you could ever imagine. Every word of encouragement, every act of kindness, every prayer spoken in faith is a part of my plan to bring light into the world. You are my vessel, my hands and feet on this earth, and through you, I am bringing hope and healing to the brokenhearted. As you continue this journey, remember that you are never alone. There are angels surrounding you, protecting you and ministering to your spirit. You are covered by my grace, enveloped in my love and shielded by my power. When the battles of life feel overwhelming, remember that you do not fight these battles alone. The victory has already been won in my name, and you are walking in that victory every day. No weapon formed against you will prosper, for I am your defender, your refuge, and your strength. There are times when the storms of life will rage, when the winds of adversity will blow fiercely against you. In those moments, do not be afraid. I am the one who calms the storm, the one who speaks peace into the chaos. When the waves rise high, keep your eyes fixed on me, for I will lead you safely to the other side. Do not let fear grip your heart, for I have already overcome the world. You are safe in my arms, and no harm will come to you as long as you remain in my care. There is power in the words you speak. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, and I have given you the ability to speak life into every situation. Do not underestimate the authority you carry as my child. When you speak in faith, mountains move. When you declare my promises over your life, chains are broken. You have been given authority to trample on the enemy, to cast out fear, and to walk in the freedom I have purchased for you. Use that authority boldly, for I have equipped you with everything you need to walk in victory. As you move forward, I want you to step into a new level of boldness. No longer will you shrink back in fear or doubt. No longer will you question whether you are enough. You are more than enough, for I have called you by name, and I have placed my spirit within you. You are a warrior, clothed in the armor of my righteousness, and nothing can stand against you when you walk in the power of my name. Do not be afraid to step out in faith, to pursue the dreams I have placed within you, for I am with you every step of the way. You are entering into a season of new beginnings. The old has passed away, and the new has come. I am making all things new in your life. What once seemed impossible will now become possible, for I am opening doors that no one can shut. I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Where there was once barrenness, there will now be abundance. Where there was once doubt, there will now be faith. I am doing a new thing in your life, and it is springing forth even now. Do not be afraid to let go of the past. Do not hold on to what I am calling you to release. There is freedom in letting go, freedom in trusting that I am leading you into something far greater than what you are leaving behind. The future I have for you is filled with hope, with purpose, and with joy. You may not see the full picture yet, but trust that every piece is coming together perfectly. I am the master builder, and I am constructing something beautiful in your life. As you step into this new season, I want you to carry with you the knowledge that you are deeply loved. My love for you is unchanging, unwavering, and unconditional. There is nothing you could ever do to separate yourself from my love. Even in your moments of weakness, even when you fall short, my love remains constant. I do not love you because of what you do. I love you because of who you are. You are mine, and that will never change. In the days ahead, you will see my hand at work in ways you never imagined. Doors will open, opportunities will arise, and miracles will unfold before your eyes. But through it all, remember this. It is my love that sustains you, my love that empowers you, and my love that guides you. Everything you do, do it from a place of love. 
love for me, love for others, and love for the life I have given you. As you walk forward in faith, know that I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. You are mine, now and forever. I have called you by name, and you are precious in my sight. Walk boldly, my child, for the future I have prepared for you is filled with hope, with promise, and with my endless love. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready, and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you, God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type, Amen.